Two people are behind bars accused of animal abuse. Yeah, they were arrested in Boulder City on Friday. Police say they were hoarding 51 guinea pigs and rabbits in a small SUV. 15 of those animals are dead at this point. News 3's Tiffany Lane is live for us in Boulder City where the man and woman were just arraigned in court. Yeah, good evening. This is an extremely complex case that many people are also call calling bizarre. We do know that 79-year-old Timothy Miller as well as 72-year-old Carolyn Luke, they are behind bars and that's following their arrest on Friday here in Boulder City. But we do know that there's animal hoarding investigations happening at their home in Las Vegas as well as a hotel. Now, we also have video of one of the suspects, Timothy Miller, leaving court today. You see him as one of the men in the video. Now, we do know that Metro Police got search warrants and found 30 dogs, 10 of them dead in a hotel. 15 dogs and more guinea pigs were also found at the house. And we have video of some of those animals that survived. They're currently being taken care of at the Animal Foundation. They are the ones who presented us with these videos. Now, we do know that Miller and Luke are both facing 11 counts each of torture, injure, abandon, or starve an animal. Boulder City Police say they received a tip on Friday about an animal abuse case in a car headed to Boulder City, and that's what tipped off their arrest. Uh, officers stopped the car when they saw a broken taillight. Police say when they rolled down the window, they could smell dead animals inside that car. That's when police and Boulder City animal control officers found the guinea pigs and rabbits in several plastic totes and luggage. From my understanding, there were numerous guinea pigs and some rabbits inside and the conditions were not great they were uh, kept in some plastic totes that were covered with a lot of dirty clothes um, and unfortunately many of the guinea pigs had died now, I spoke with a woman who contacted police about the suspect. She's really what got this arrest going. Uh, Gina Grison, the president of the Nevada Voters for Animals, tells me she started at where she believes is the home of the suspects as soon as she found out about the possible hoarding case on Friday. She says Miller and Luke did not allow animal control access to check the suspect's car that they appeared to be loading. When the suspects drove away from the home, Grison says she followed them to Boulder City, alerting police while she was driving. I made it very abundantly clear to all the agencies and <laughs> including Metro, I'm not letting go. I am going to follow them. I don't care how, until I run out of gas, I'm gonna follow these people because I'm gonna find out where these animals are. They need to be held accountable. They need to be brought to justice. Now, what we know is that uh, for just the counts, uh, 11 counts that we mentioned, those were listed as misdemeanors, and that's because this is Luke and Miller's first offense. But from what we're hearing, those animal abuse cases in Las Vegas could likely be considered felonies, and of course, that could possibly bring prison time. Right now, both uh, Luke and Miller are currently in custody at the Henderson Jail. They were transported here earlier to Boulder City. Uh, now, today, the judge uh, basically appointed them new attorneys and on Thursday they will be returning to court vir virtually well when they will be setting the uh, trial date that is the next bit of information that we will be providing in this investigation but there is a lot going on in this and we know a lot of people have questions a lot of people are angered seeing the condition of these animals and hearing of those that have passed we will continue to stay on top of this and provide updates as they become available reporting live from Boulder City I'm Tiffany Lane for News 3. Back to you. Multiple layers to this investigation. As you mentioned, dozens of animals, two police departments right. all involved here. Tiffany, thank you for the latest. Hey, Scott. Hey. <laughs> We're made it. We made it. We made it. Oh, my okay. gosh. Hi, ladies. 20, 20 girls. Hi, girls. A lot of them are skin Welcome. and bones. and You're all safe now. Oh, my goodness. She's so skinny. Big old baby bumps. So skinny. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. And here we yeah. are. This one especially. Skinny bones. Yeah, ringworm. Hi. The ones with ringworm have had a bath. Oh, They've all had ivermectin. So skinny. Look at this. This is just bones. Yeah. And then what do we have really here? Really cute, but but extremely, oh, extremely it's an eye skinny. There. Did ringworm over There's there? ringworm on this one as well. Yeah. yeah, I see that on her eye. Can you turn her over so we can see? Sure. 
from the other side. I'm very close up, so. Hey, baby. Yeah. Little skittish, they can definitely. Yeah. And then there's some on this cheek over here, so. Yeah, we're we'll gonna keep check these ones them all front. out. Hey. Okay, welcome. So, tell tell me, Scott, what's the story again? What happened here? Basically, uh, they came from a really bad hoarding situation. Uh, over 100 guinea pigs, rabbits, birds, turtles. Um, Who had these animals? Uh, a woman in Vegas, a woman that actually I knew and four years ago facilitated an adoption with. Wow. Um, and it's, uh, I can't even begin to understand And how, how did you find out that and this when was I going on? Uh, someone that I worked with um, previously with the abandoned pet shop uh, rescue. Yeah. They were in the area and, and they had been corresponding with this woman and she was getting pressure from animal control and so she was trying to hide the animals. Yeah. And my friend, when she figured out how bad the situation had gotten, she rushed to Vegas and rescued 40. From this lady? From this lady. The day after, the lady took all the remaining animals, put them in a van, and was on the run. Luckily, there was a broken taillight. She got pulled over by the police. Um, 50 guinea pigs were confiscated out of the back of that van, plus uh, other animals. She had stashed uh, living and dead animals in a hotel room. <gasps> Basically. What? She had stashed animals in a hotel room. She had animals in a van, and then is this hotel animals. room she was going to come back to, or she I, I, she just left? We don't know. And there was also still animals back at her house. So animal control from three jurisdictions uh, have now uh, gotten the animals to safety, and uh, it's an ongoing investigation. There is all sorts of news reports about it on, oh my on local gosh. stations. I'll be sharing those. Oh my gosh. Um, well, but, but these girls all the females that are, are not impounded in animal control are here right now. Okay. Well, that's so, a good thing because they're pregnant. Yes. And an impound is not the best place for them to be. Plus, they might be kept as evidence animals. Yes. They have babies. Oh, my gosh. It's a lot of you know, they, pressure on animal control as well. There are two people involved in this. They've both been charged with 11 counts of animal mistreating animals. Um... Well, let's get them inside. That is yeah. a horrific story. Yeah, well, what's even more, what's heartbreaking is the fact that, that I was lied to for years. You know, that when I adopted a pair of guinea pigs to them, they went in a massive CNC cage. They all had clean fleece. They were being treated like babies. And I, so I just, I can't understand what happened from then until now. A lot um, of things can happen. Yeah. But well, don't blame yourself. Don't no, beat yourself no, up no. over that. I, I, we're just heartbroken and and upset that we were that we were deceived and lied yeah. to. And I yeah. mean, I've never been to her house, you know, so I don't know. Yeah. But well, you have to just, trust people at some point, you know. Yeah. I mean, because that's the thing is they passed all of the prerequisites, like yeah, you know, I had the right cage, the right gave cage. all the right answers. Yeah. They they had the ability and the willingness to take them to. Yeah. To, but that's what the straw that that broke it was uh at this point now she was on there was all these animals that were like dying that needed care yeah and and they had just they were just disposable to her at this point and so i'm sure mental illness I'm probably sure a lot more had a lot gonna, to do with that you know and that's what's heartbreaking you know that through no fault of these animals own they were put in this situation but yeah. yeah. Well, let's you know, let's get them that's inside. That's what rescue is—is is taking that bad situation. Yeah. I was just it thinking better. that you know we have. I, I was thinking, do we have more bad times or good times? Well, because I, I actually think young. that the bad kind of overtakes the good. To be honest, because yes. we see so much and hear so yeah, much. Yeah. Takes her to see this one. Can she go straight into the nursery? Or I mean, obviously needs a health check, but. Ooh, what a big girl. Like you can feel these babies kicking. Yay. Come on. Come on, mama. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh yes, you want to kind of hold her up so we can see the pear shape from the back, from the behind. Yes, a lot of babies, mommy. Yeah, they they're kicking. Oh yes. Well, you come to the right place. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Everybody's having nummies. All the girls are eating num nums. And we're gonna take a look at them one by one. Now you guys held check them already, right? So this is just like yes. the second kind of Yes, well they, look. they have all been assessed. Many of them have been um they have some the worst ones have had baths and and uh um they've all had ivermectin. Many of them have had uh baths and nail clips. So, all right, I'm going to focus on filming for Saskia and uh, check out that video. Check your mommy. Big girl. in here. I feel Yeah, we can take it. I feel too silly. Getting used to Well, you are good. You look very healthy. She's going to go into the Yes, we're going to put it in the nursery now. Okay. And then nursery is a little full, so we're going to make space. We're going to move some of the not so pregnant females, but the ones visibly pregnant. We have babies in here too. Want to see? Babies. Look the babies. Oh my gosh. Look at the babies. They're like a couple days old, huh? Yep. Mm. Hi, little guys. Now I'm going to have to get this back there without, without making sure all of you guys are... <laughs> Okay, okay. That's the troublemaker. troublemaker Are we gonna name them now? Do we do we want to set up a card assembly line? Well, they're kind of busy, so that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, I think we uh, have a lot of peeps, so yeah. maybe we can do that later. Gosh. Look at that. She's got she's got the this is definitely the culprit because she's got hair in her hair mouth. from another pig. You just did that, <laughs> didn't you? You were she's just like, Lady, fighting. you don't know what I've been through. But these are the lucky ones. These are the ones that made it out before all of the yeah. serious yeah, those big stuck at animal control, that's not a good situation. No. If they're going to have babies, I no. mean, animal control's not set up to, to take no. care for a large but groups of guinea pigs. Casey from the Las Vegas friend, Friends of Guinea Pig, She's definitely they're, they're going to be, uh, you know, paying attention to this entire situation. There's a lot of people that we, have this on the radar, and they have been doing news. Did we check for lies? Did they lies check, do you know? I don't know. But I would guess that, I mean, a lot of them have had baths, so I would guess that it, they would have seen it if it was really rampant. Yeah. But. Well, sometimes it, it can be just yes. minor. But I haven't heard anything about lice. Oh, did I forget this dismail here? Let's I hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Okay. Ringworm. So, yeah. look at her. Oh she's my gosh. so cute yeah, though. Yeah, she, she, I noticed her because she's so absolutely emaciated. Yes. Uh, you know, it, the long hair makes it look like she's not. Yeah. But you, I can feel the ribs. Yeah. The bones. There's one or two and more you know, that when, are And when they like are that. this um, At least. neglected, they are prone to get ringworm. Look at her nosy. Yeah. That whole nose. It's actually like that thickened... And she scratched it too. Yeah. So let me see your ears because it's another place where ringworm loves to go. Oh, your ears are okay, but she's got it here. Right here. And I can't begin to speak of the condition that where she was. That's probably from urine scald. No, that looks like ringworm, kind of, okay. not a patch. And, and you know, that hair loss that they get when they come in groups yeah. like that, that's usually from malnutrition. Mm. So that is a really quick fix. You just feed them the right food. My concern is that, that they have other parasites like lice. Yeah. 
because those Let's sometimes can be hard to see. So we really got to watch and keep still and look like an eagle if you see something move because sometimes it's not easy to see. And we'll give them that one thing of ivermectin, but that's not enough if they already have lice. Yeah. That's more like a preventative that one time. But I don't see any, so that's good. Yeah. That's good. Any swollen lymph nodes? No, you're very young. Teenage mama doesn't look pregnant, but she probably is. Yeah, you know, they're basically going to have to be on pregnancy watch as All of, of, them, as of yeah. Friday. Mm -hmm. Friday was the separation date. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's important to know. So the video you uh, made, you, you, everyone, if you want to see it, it's on Scott's YouTube channel, yeah. Scotty's Animal. That would be fun. And yeah. then we have a contest, Name All the Babies. If we can come up with a theme, then Sorry, we can knock so them silly. all out. I keep putting my glasses off because otherwise i got to put my other glasses on, which I can. Okay. On top of Saskia, my Saskia, I wonder glasses. if Guinness has a world record uh, of guinea pig nails being clipped. <laughs> I know like you said that in before. A you actually said once we should have a competition on who can I mean, clip. Yes. Except I don't think I don't, I don't think, think that that's idea. I don't think that's safe, <laughs> no. right? Because people would rush. It. But I still think if you could just document how many nail clips you do in a situation like this, and then you submit it to Guinness, and then. You're the current record holder, and someone would have to beat it. <laughs> it's amazing. So, ringworm, nose, around the ears, in the ears, inside, outside, around the eyes. Those are the typical ringworm spots. She's gorgeous. Yeah, pregnant. Popped up in the meantime, or was overlooked. Yeah. <laughs> It's photogenic. Is she's one of those? That's yes. like, you can't take a wrong photo? Cute. Okay. There's only... There's only four in there. Five. Yeah, this must be the last one. Ooh, yeah. nice ringworm here. Look at that. Yeah. Yep, this is typical around the eye. Yeah. Underneath the eye, on top of the eye. So I'm going to check the ears as well because they will often have it in the ears. But I'd be willing to bet that this one got a bath and already looks like has had some cream on there. So you often they can get it inside yeah. here in the arms. They can even get it under the arms. So I'm sorry, little Missy. I'm going to have to turn you over like this for a second. So is she under the arms? Oh, it's okay. Oh, baby. <laughs> but the one thing guinea pigs do not like, yeah, I know, and you're scared, is being uh, held into a position. Yeah. So it's not what you're doing to them, it's the fact that you are holding them in a position and they are, cannot freely move. I you know, sweetie, you're okay. I know. And then, of course, there are. The drama pigs, as we call them. Yep, I have one of those. Just, you, you just look at them and they start squealing. Yeah, there were some nails that were like almost an inch long. Oh we my gosh. We trimmed those. We, yeah, I know, I see you. Good yeah. job, was done. I can just take off a little more, but I'm probably just yeah. wasting my time doing that. Because Not all of them got nail did a clips. Good job. Okay, so ringworm. Do we have a ringworm? The ringworm basket Access is for here. Ringworm. Okay, let's hey, put you here. Is this one of the 20 yes, here? yes. I just okay. moved it out of the way. Is this ringworm or non-ringworm? Non-ringworm. Non -ringworm. No, ringworm's going in here for Ringworms now. are going in there. The active ringworm. Yep. We're probably going to need a bigger basket. And then I think I'm going to go on these. I'm doing the best I can. All right, next basket. Poor thing. Yeah, but we missed those. Yeah. And, and she's got fungal feet. And babies. She's got... Oopsie. You're a mess. So, show the fungal foot. Okay, mama. You see? The fungal, fungal paw. See how uh, powdery it is on the top? Yeah. And inside? Yes. Yeah, that's fungus. 100%. So, she needs an extra note. Uh, Avery. Yes. This one has fungal feet. So, we need to make a note with her. So, will we put it put her in the ringworm so i there's 20 of them and 
when we're all done, I can identify which ones have fungal feet. I'm trying to make sure we're efficient here, so. Yeah. I just thought it might be easy to just tell you now. No, because I'm not going to remember any of those pigs. It'll be easier for me to take a look when I'm Well, we can away. put them somewhere else is what I'm saying for yeah. now. Do you want, should they go in the ring in the ringworm bin no. or a fungal foot bin? Yeah, let's do that for now because then it's easier. They're all being exposed to ringworm. They're so all going to get their preventative bath so anyways. I'm label the bins then ringworm, fungal feet, and healthy. Yeah. That way. Okay, mama. Perfect. Actually, we got a system. Foot bin, give me just a second. Okay. Well, no, we don't she'll go in there for now. Hi, mommy. Okay. Hi, mommy. Moving on to the next one. Let me get some. Now, do you want me to there. film all of these piggies, yeah. Tom's Camp? Mm -hmm. Which one is the ringworm bin? You can, this one, right behind me. You can pause in, in the middle. Yep, I am. I did. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Which one is the watch healthy watch bin? Watch the healthy watch bin watch is back there. Okay, look. Look what we found. Ooh, mommy. And then I need to make a fungal foot bin. Right? Fungus. Oh, bam. Fungus. So yeah. Serious. Look, you see all this little yeah. dirt at the end? Yeah. That. It's fungal spores? Nope. Oh. These are usually fermites. So fermites are not the same as sarcophagus. Sar sar no, mange is microscopic and they burrow under yes. the skin. But these are also extremely teeny, teeny, tiny. But they look like dirt. You see this lighter color? They look like dirt at the end. Yes, we see that. And these, that's also a type of parasite, but that, they stay here. They don't go anywhere else, but, you know, they shouldn't be there. I was hoping by cutting some off, I can show you some of the live ones. But I don't. But they're there. Yes. That, that, yeah, we that, could that definitely... is not dirt, but that is definitely a big, big patch of ringworm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no ring and stuff here. Yes, I do. Okay, let me just do this real quick. It's such a big patch. Just I'll give you a little bit of relief there. Because this, this helps immediately with the itchy yeah. and the everything else. There. Okay. All right, another pig. Hi. Make sure it's not very oh, happy. Look it on her nose. Ooh, what you got on her nose? Can I see that? And look, guys, I always do this, right? Always got that yep. little paw there. Little... That I know. <laughs> I know. She got the donut lips though. I just checked on nosy. Oh, yeah, and, we're gonna... and some fungal feet on her feet. Uh, or, no, they're just no. kind of a little dry. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but she definitely has fungal foot in the back feet. Mm, yes, you yes, see that? yes. Uh, let me focus, focus. Yep, we see that. Yeah, that dry looking, and then sometimes it can be like an angry pig, and it starts in between the toes. Problem with that is, is that it actually um the the ringworm the fungus lives in the nail bed yes. so unless you do laser treatment like we do with people which we're not going to do with guinea pigs it's pretty much a, a chronic condition that you just want to keep an eye on and suppress whenever you see yeah. it come up again i know sorry soaks can help a little bit yeah, Soaks has... with the antifungal shampoo, Davis Myconazole. Yeah. That's the best. I'm going to put a little blob on her nose. A little blob on the nosy. Yes, she's... mama. She's cute, though. They're, I mean, these are these are all nose. very... But when you do this, yeah. you actually really want to make sure you really rub it into the skin. Against the grain. Yeah, because if you just put it on the top, yeah. it's not going to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, that's like your bigger... Okay. She's not a pregnant lady. Yep. She's not her big belly. Oh my god. I'm goodness. showing her, but guys, I'm really supporting her, okay? Yeah. You don't want to do this without the support. So, okay, let me see. The weed whacker. <laughs> Got a cameo by the goose. Yeah. It's funny, when he stops, we'll, we'll call him and he'll respond. Have you heard your voice, Scott? He's like, oh, Scott's here. <laughs> he stopped. <laughs> that's, that's, that whistle's just for him. Yeah, she's got ringworm too. Uh, I'm sorry, fungal, fungal feet. feet. Fungal feet, see, see that? Yep. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, let me show you how to do this real quick for people who have to okay. do this. You want to make sure you do the heel too. Heel, the whole foot. Yep. And you want to make sure you really get it in between. Yeah. Because that is where it is. You really want to rub it in really, 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 really good. A couple of weeks ago, someone came in. They had been there a few weeks before and was diagnosed with fungal feet and they followed the fungal foot protocol and when we did an updated health check the the pads they were like dark skin the pads were so shiny Black and, and shiny. so beautiful that is like, what they're supposed to look yeah, like i was like what yep. it, she's like she was like i was just so worried yeah i was like whatever you're doing keep doing it because I know. it's, it's I know. amazing it's, it's, it's really drastic like not face. just not just unfungally but they so, were just so conditioned and beautiful so But they all need a, uh, the ones that are not showing any signs of fungus, yeah. Avery, they all need the fungal bath as well. I'll put a label on the page. Just to get, kill any spores yeah. that are undoubtedly on them. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll have volunteers work on that this okay. weekend. Okay. Well, you look good, Mama. You look good. Is... Looks a little satiny. Yes, that's the one that I saw the other day. I was v being a little bit nervous about Let's that. Let's hope you're not pregnant, Mama. And, and let's hope she doesn't develop satin syndrome. Mm. You have some trauma to the toe here. See that? Yeah, from the, oh, oh, from oh, the, so the fungus. No, no, that's, that's not from the fungus. Oh. It's just a trauma, and then the nail bed kind of responds like that. Because the rest of the feet don't look like they yeah, have. Yeah, I saw her from a mile Actually, away being super shiny. No, you're good. Hey, Claire. Yes, you're good. All right, and see here we got that typical malnutrition hair loss. Yeah. Oh, you're purring. Is you purring? You silly girl. Okay, so she's good. Is this healthy? Yeah. Come next. Hopefully she's Hi. good. Oh this is goodness. everyone's fan favorite. Of course. Let me see you. Yeah, you Timmy oh, was she's way got a runny shinier, nose. But... She's sicky sick. Look at that runny nose. No, not good. Let me see the insides of your feet. Yep. So, big indication. Did your biggie's sick? Oh they yeah, start, the boogers. The boogers on the side of the feet. Yeah. Because they wipe their little nosy. So she needs to be separate all together and get treatment. How's her breathing? You see the boogers here on this side of the feet mm -hmm. too? Like just loads. How's your breathing? Yeah, it's sticky. Sticky, we don't like sticky. She's she is a stick too. She's just nothing else this yeah. big. Nothing else. Yeah. So we have a oh sorry, I thought you were Avery. Her her, her. Avery, this yeah. pig is um has an upper respiratory of some sort. Yeah, okay. her her chest is so just we'll get so her in tiny. An isolation cage. Okay. Let me get a bin. Everything else. Don't see any ringworm, which is unusual, especially because she is compromised with that cold already yeah. and exposed to the ringworm. One would think, I'm sorry, honey, that she. Okay, okay, I know it's not fun like that. I know, but I can have to see good. I have to make sure we see everything. Okay, so. <laughs> Where's my URI girl? Ringworm. So this is the girl that we yeah, that's that one saw that we saw. Yeah. yeah. So what happens with ringworm also is that it is so irritating. The skin, especially around the eyes, I notice that the skin will kind of puff up. Yeah. Um, and then the eye doesn't look very happy either. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. You know. Good lesson. Let's do this little trick. Yeah. Watch me. It's really hard to do the pigs that have ringworm on the eye because yeah. everyone is afraid of getting it into into yeah. their eye. So if you come down just a little bit, Mama, they're so skittish. Okay. Okay. Yes, you okay. No, you're a good girl. So a good view of this. if you do this, see how she closes yeah, her eyes? Yeah, so I'm going to do this. Now I got it really everywhere. Yeah. 
And if they get a little bit in their eye, that is actually not a problem because it is also used as a medication when pigs have fungus in the eye. Wow. Which is unusual, but we recently had one and that's what Dr. Nan told us. And I, that was the first I heard of that. But yeah, now see how I got everything yep. completely. You just gotta. She's got rub it nowhere it. else. Yeah. Now we're checking. Who's checking? Teethies. Oh, I expect all the teeth to be good, to be honest. They're so young. Yeah. Nails. Nailsies, yeah. Okay. Let's see your nailsies, Mama. Oh, you were so scared. I'm sorry, Mommy. That's not too bad. Look at that hair, dude. Good, nice, good. Yeah, she looks good? pretty good, Can aside from her nails. Nailsies. All right, let's do it. The nailsies. So that's like our second one without ringworm. And anybody who's watching this video and wants to know how to treat ringworm, I have videos on it, but also on our website are written instructions. Yeah. On laguineapigrescue.com under guinea pig care. Yes. One more, mommy. I should, I should just run. I know. <laughs> Actually, I think I did that. I have to wait a bit more. There. Gosh, I love her. Hello. Hi, pretty girl. A little crusty eye on one side. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart. That is so sweet. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's do it the other way. I'm just when they have this long hair, I just want to see if there's any bold spots anywhere. This ringworm. This they can happen sometimes, these boldy spots. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I think you're cut. Let's give you a little bit of haircut. You met it. Big lady. Definitely Look at those the manicure. Nails. Oh my pedicure. goodness. Pedicure. Yes. All right. Any. I'm going to get another healthy thing started. Anything obvious? No. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. we have an empty bin. You could probably. Uh... Okay. okay. Oh, I know. I know. I know. It's like, I'm not calming down. You're trying to kill me, lady. Poor girl. She doesn't know anything. Avery. This is now we're here to help her. Avery. Yeah. There's an empty bin that we could probably transfer all yeah, the healthy ones back to. This is a nice shot here. right here. This feels really good. Well, which one? It's, there's a lot of, there's a lot going on. Boom. Bye-bye. This bye just bye. make it easier for me right this second. No okay. more ouchy walking. Okay, mommy? Yeah, these are good. She's very cute. Have you ever met a non-cute guinea pig spot? Um... Well, <laughs> Millhouse <laughs> is, uh, he's okay, I guess. All right. No, in fact, for me, like, the more broken they are, if they're missing an eye, if their ears are chewed off, those are the ones I love the most. Avery? Yes. Healthy? Healthy. Okay. Looks like oh. she's been barbered or got a really bad haircut. Posh Spice. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, well, she it's half of her nails got clipped. Well, one foot did.
these are always tough. Sometimes they get older, they start to really curl in right here. Yeah. That particular nail. Now, again, skin and bones. Skin and bones. Yeah, I think okay. Can I feel something here? No. You know, the, that, that pelvic pubic bone yeah. here is so prominent and yeah. that's what happens when, when they're, they're that skinny. Yeah. 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 There's no wiki check for belly any wikis. Well, I haven't seen found it yet. It's not likely the, they have it, but considering we got to have the something situation. working for us. Yeah. Okay. Something in our favor. This is the one that is also oh. really, really skinny too. Oh. I was waiting for you to find her. She's the last one. Yeah, look at the, the baldness. malnutrition. It's just... It's heartbreaking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this must be the oldest one of the bunch. She mm -hmm. has really bad crusty nipples. Oof. And she's pregnant? Uh, I don't know. Look, I pulled this off her nipple. Oh, yeah. When they have crusty nipples like that, you want to see this one here? You see it's crusty? Yeah. That is almost 95% a guarantee that they have a reproductive issue. And I can tell by the nails Yeah. They... that she's not young. Yeah. She's not a youngster. So she is the oldest one here. She may even be the matriarch. Millsies were done. And, and she's going to have babies, of, huh? Well, let's hope not. I don't Could know. Because if she has like some hormonal issues already with the with the crusty nipples, I don't feel babies in here. So I, I don't think that she is. But she, do you have a runny nose here? She feels like ovaries to me. Come here, mama. Okay, let me see the inner. Let me see her. <laughs> wiggle worm. You should wiggly wiggle, but the old oh, hair is not easy to see either. I just want to see the inside paw. Let's see if she's being. Yeah, it's a little dirty. So let's. You all right? Yeah, you are. Well, look who's had her babies. Look, she looks so much smaller now. Well, sad thing is there are four and one. Was born, stillborn actually. Hey, yeah, little baby. So, isn't this beautiful? What a happy ending for this family. Hi, you sweetie. Good job, mama. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're sitting actually on a hand. <laughs> She's sitting on the hand. Oh, come here, little guys. Here, have some num nums. Have little nummies. Oh, you are very adventurous. You're all very adventurous. I guess you want out of the hand. Okay. Okay. Let's get you here. Let's get you here. So, after all that horrible, horrific news, this is a sight for sore eyes, isn't it? Oh, come on, little one. No, don't run away. Stay here. So they were born about three days ago. That's so these are three day old babies. Here mama, food's here. The food's here. All right. Well, so happy to be able to show you guys this. Little happy ending for these guys. Come here little one. Got me a little one. Close up with you guys. There. Yeah.